they're stuck behind a fence. We had to get both Mama Cat and the babies. That's where she gave birth. We cut the fence because they were all tangled in it, and she overnight moved over there. We placed a couple of different traps. She wouldn't come out. And so at that point, we had to cut a hole into the fence. Can you cut higher too? Oh, yeah. My rescue partner, she ended up reaching through the hole and started just handing me the cats, and she handed them to me one by one. I said, okay, well, we have this box here that keeps the chicken warm, so let's just stack the babies in there. So we took them to my house. We weren't sure if the mama cat was friendly. She was really just worried about being back with her babies, and once we knew she's friendly, she's not feral. It was very clear that she and the babies could be in the same crate together and should be reunited as quickly as possible. We offered them all kinds of food. All we did was we made her a little nest. We found a nice box that we turned into a nest slash cave for her. And we just placed her and the babies in there, gave her food and water, gave her a litter box, and she nestled in pretty quickly. We only had to bottle feed the kittens for one day. The rest of the time, they were nursing from her and she was getting canned food from me. Once they came out of their little blind nugget stage, they got very, very playful. I moved them into a larger playpen, moved them into my living room, and they were basically just constantly running around, jumping around, chasing each other. Very energetic and sweet. They bonded with each other by snuggling all the time and playing with each other. In terms of bonding with me, I would let them out of the pen and just let them roll around and crawl around on me. I would just let them hang out on the couch with me. Some of them would crawl into my lap. I wasn't scary to them. So two of the kittens have been adopted. The other pair is still in foster. They're super fun, super cute, healthy, playful, affectionate. So really hoping they'll get adopted soon. Also because whoever is gonna adopt them, they shouldn't be missing out on this magical time with them right now. And then the mom is in foster with a very experienced, great foster because we still have to get her spayed. We have to make sure she clears her nasal issues, which is a chronic but manageable condition and then she'll go up for adoption, hopefully in a month or so. How are you so sweet after everything that happened to you?